What's going on, friends and family? I'm back with another movie review. We're here to talk about Death on the Nile. A little murder mystery film. Well, we're gonna get into it. Hit that intro. Okay, this film was directed and starred Kenneth Branagh. A few other stars in here, Gal Gadot, Letity Wright, just a few to name. But this was a murder mystery film and the whole film took place in Egypt. Okay. That's where they got married and invited, uh, I don't know, eight or nine other people so they can see the wedding, but we turned into a murder mystery film. You had to find out who was doing killing because bodies was turning up dead. What? Oh no! So, us as the audience had to sit there and try to figure out what was going on. And of course, the main lady, Gal Gadot's character, was filthy rich, but nobody really liked her. What kind of shit is that? But they laced it up so everybody can look as a suspect. You'll probably figure it out. Pros. Okay. So, the acting in here was pretty good. The Egypt background or scenery was pretty nice. And breaking it down and making everybody look like a suspect. And you have to figure out before they start killing, like, who had something to gain? They show, what well, I guess it's like eight or nine characters. And they pretty much made everybody a suspect. <laughs> Cons. Okay. It was a part where one character was, like, literally on the pyramids flying a kite. And he seen another character oh hey how you doing blah 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 yada yada right and he's down there at the top with the other guy down there at the bottom he had no binoculars how do you even know who you're talking like he just looked down like hey that's you he's like yeah it's me i'm looking like dude got some eagle vision to see somebody face he damn near on the top of a building to see this guy but he knew who it was didn't understand that number two gal gadot's character she didn't feel comfortable with the people that she invited to her wedding now if you felt like your life was in danger because moves were made on her throughout this move why even invite people that you don't trust or you're afraid that they might be trying to kill you. Why invite them? Y'all could have just had a wedding for yourself. You could have probably invited some people you did trust. I mean, she had a best friend that she did like trust, but then at the end of the day, she had something against her. She had something against a few other characters. It was just crazy to me. Like, if I don't trust somebody, I'm not bringing them to my wedding. The third thing, probably the last thing, cause I can't remember anything else. It was a lady that was a best friend or used to be best friends. And I guess she was a little jealous and you'll see why she was jealous of Gal Gadot's character. Everywhere they went in Egypt, she found out exactly where they was going to be at at every single place. So I'm looking like somebody has to be telling her because how the hell she know the itinerary? Interesting. And this movie was set in the 1930s. So, I mean, there's no internet. There's no Facebook. There's no no emails. How the hell you keep finding out where they gonna be? Let's rate this film. Okay, so I gave this film average. This is not like a Knives Out or a Mine Hunters. Check that out too. Okay. I felt like this was done good. It was done enough to be entertained, but you'll probably figure out before the end. I was entertained. I had a good time. You probably wouldn't be disappointed. I wasn't disappointed, but you can watch it at home too. I mean, if you love murder mysteries, I think you'll get a kick out of it. They do have a little violent, you know, killings and stuff. They show that. Excellent. It's murder mystery. You gotta get ready to find out who the killer is. But it's really all I got to say about this one. Make sure you like, subscribe, and peace. See you in the next one.